Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, thanks for stopping by and checking this out. Uh, this is uh, another uh, progress update on the uh, hydraulic forge press project that, I, that I've been working on. And uh, I've got the majority of the heavy fabrication done. And so I'll just do a quick walkthrough here of how this is put together. Uh, this uh, this I-beam uh, that I'm using is uh, six inches wide, uh, or six and, a, six and a half wide, six deep, seven sixteenths inch uh, webbing. So it's uh, pretty heavy duty. Uh, and actually with the, this design, uh, there's not a lot of force involved with these up there, uprights. These are, are, are mostly guides um, for the design that I came up with. So uh, starting from the bottom, uh, fabricated up this this uh, carriage. The bottom of my cylinder uh, has a uh, inch and a half pin, and uh, the the shoulders are, are pretty flat. So those shoulders sit on top of this ballistic steel, and then I have these cross half inch cross pieces uh, welded in that um, um, have this inch and a half pin going through the bottom. Okay, and then uh, I have the, uh, the carriage bolted in with these three eighths inch bolts into the three inch uh, square tube. And there's five on each side and that's to facilitate if I ever have to remove anything, I could pull the, pull, uh, the side pieces out, rotate this 90 degrees, pull the pin, and then I'll be able to drop everything. It's a little bit modular. So then, uh, going on over here, I have uh, this, this little hammer-shaped uh, guides that are uh, backed by UHMW on, uh, on the front and back side here. And then uh, along the edges, there's UHMW. Uh, this is drilled and tapped, countersunk in this way, so that uh, the smooth side rides against this beam. So we go up and... Um, the, these plates are four inch wide, three eight or three quarter inch thick, and go all the way across. And uh, those are the supports for the uh, the lower die uh, press table. Then uh, some little anvil shaped uh, brackets for the upper cylinder mount. So the uh, upper die holder is uh, inch thick, ten inches wide, eight inches deep. Uh, to match the depth of uh, of the uh, the lower table, uh, that'll that'll be bridged with three quarter inch, three inch wide, three quarter inch thick pieces that come across side to side. Uh, they'll be welded on front and back, and then these will be cross drilled to make this upper die holder adjustable. So, uh, bit, part part of what I wanted was a a, a low profile uh, press. Which uh, it, for for uh, 28, 29, I think it's going to be about 29 tons is what I figured. Um, it, it's a, a fairly low uh, low profile, so I, I I did give up about two and a half to three inches of the stroke of the capacity of the cylinder. It's a 12 inch cylinder, five inch diameter. Um, so by making this upper die holder adjustable to be able to slide up and down. Uh, I'll, pro I'll, I'll be able to fit just about anything I want under, under the, the dies and and uh, and uh, not, and it's a little bit of a trade-off, but but having that upper die holder adjustable, I think, works out really well. So, um, just real quick here, I'll see if I could show you just how smooth the, this carriage moves. Uh, there's air in the cylinder right now, so it's pretty much acting like a like a pneumatic cylinder. So, see what I could operate here. So with those with those guides in there, uh, there's there's very little torsion movement, you know, front to back, side to side, sort of. So uh, uh, I'm really happy with that. I'm I'm gonna see. You can see I'm mocking up this. I'm gonna add uh, UHMW guides on the top here, uh, just to give it that extra little bit of stability, uh, especially when uh, when you're applying the downforce on that on the workpiece. It'll uh, uh, direct that energy straight down so that's a 
that's my latest update on the on the uh, on the press project. Uh, next part is to uh, uh, eliminate this cross piece here, and then I'm going to take a piece of three quarter inch inside to inside and weld that in. Little decorative piece. I'll have some kind of loop on there so that if I ever have to pull the carriage out, um, I could just throw a little chain guide on there and yank it out of there if I have to do it, do it, any maintenance on it or adjustments or whatever but uh yeah so far it's uh it's working out really well and uh i'm really satisfied with uh, the way that it's come together you can see when i was moving that carriage up and down uh this is exactly 10 inches wide and didn't even move this at all it just just uh, uh that's how kind of the accuracy that uh that i was able to get uh so my first major uh project where i where i've actually had access to um there's a milling machine you see i had to take some of the thickness off of uh those uhmw guys to just dial them in perfectly but uh having that mill and the lathe uh has has really uh been helpful in in getting this put together the way that i wanted to i have these uh three three inch square tube goes straight through uh that inch and a half table so that was a lot of milling a lot of time but uh uh instead of of uh having the cylinder above just pushing down and putting force on the on the uh on the side rails it pretty much uh expands here which squishes this part down so it it almost cancels out all the force being applied is 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 right in here and at the bottom of the carriage being being transferred through those through those side pieces so i think it's going to be a pretty efficient design and uh and i hope it works out really well um uh by next weekend i'm hoping to be into the hydraulics portion of this i got an old hydraulic tank that i got at a local salvage place and then uh there's a seven and a half horsepower uh single phase ball door and a 13.3 gallon per minute two-stage pump so uh that's the heart of of uh the system there so more cool stuff coming up with this uh thanks for stopping by and checking it out and um stay tuned i'll be back with more updates on this and and hopefully really soon we'll be squishing some metal thanks for stopping by guys and uh take care be safe out there